Hi everyone, today I'm gonna to do my Laura Lee Los Angeles haul. The box literally just came in. And then my neighbor caught me in the yard, so we were talking. Um, I'm opening it up now. Came in this little box. Mm. Let's see, how does it open? Okay. Oh, it's upside down. Okay. All right, now we got it. All right, here's what it looks like inside. I got her Christmas collection. It's got a little card in here that's got her face on it with cat's pajamas. I already have one of those. We have the loose powder highlights, the lipsticks, um, cobalt pressed eyeshadow. I'm not sure why that's in there, but I'll take it. <laughs> Maybe it was like a free gift. I don't know. All right, and that's everything out of there and this is the palette so we will start with the palette i don't want to rip that poor pretty sticker um i like how everything comes wrapped very well the palettes come wrapped very nicely and safely i hope here's what the packaging looks like now on the back it's got laura lee it tells you the the weight the ingredients, the ingredient list, and here is what the inside looks like. It looks similar to the outside of the box. I love the pink color. Ooh, and here's the colors. Let, since I just checked the mail, let me go ahead and find my hand sanitizer. Okay, there it is. All right, sorry, I just found it. So that we could swatch, we're gonna go ahead and clean our arms, halfway down the arms because we swatch on our arms. All right, there is Bright Lights is the first one. It's a matte, then there's Wish List. It's a glitter and Cherry Chocolate is another matte. So I'm gonna, there is Wish Bright Light, which is really light colored. Wish List, and Cherry Chocolate. Can't, I think this Bright Lights one, it comes off on the finger. But I can't really get it to show up on camera on my hand. I mean, maybe you can, it's like right here, where it's a little bit lighter. But look at that red. I like that red. That is pretty. Um, let's go ahead and get these cucumber wipes from Yes2. Wipe that off. All right. Oh. Get the red off the finger. Dry the fingers. These last shades are all metallic. This is a pink festive. Wrapped up is green. And Jolly is, I would almost say that's going to be duochrome. So we got festive, wrapped up, and Jolly. It's like silver, but it, it looks purpley. Maybe it is purpley, but to me it looks silver in the thing. But when you move it around... It looks different colors, just like that pink. Like, like it shifts gold. I like that. Those are really pretty and really silky. I can't wait to use this. She had a sale for 4th of July on her website. All right. And I paid $42, I believe, for this entire collection. These are the Sleigh Bell Highlighters. It's got sugar and spice, sweet and saucy and warm and toasty. And it's got the ingredients and the weight on the back. I'm about to do a declutter and I'm buying, I have more highlighters 
the and the eyeshadow palettes than I have anything else. So let's just buy more. All right, it's got like a little siffer and it says open close. So let's go ahead and open. There's this little piece comes out. All right, we're gonna try to get just a little bit. We're gonna use the lid top. This one is warm and toasty. All right, there's warm and toasty. Here is the zipper, and you close it like this. It tells you which direction to go so that none of it will fall out. And there's some left on the um, lid. So we're gonna take, just take a little mm -hmm. highlighter brush. I already have highlight on, but I'm not going anywhere that I know of. We're gonna go ahead and stick warm and toasty on top of this highlighter. I don't know. I was trying to find a spot where y'all could see it. Let's use the brush. That's how with the that's the swatch, and that's with the brush. So it gives you pretty good pigment. So that's nice. All right, let's wipe it off and move on to the next highlighter. All right, the next one is sweet and saucy. Twist it around open it it's got like this little pull tab it's like a pink color put it right there let's add a little bit to the lid just a little all right and we're gonna shut it all right let's tap that out because it came out like it was okay there is the swatch of it it reminds me of the eyeshadow shade. See how it goes gold? All right, let's spread it out on here a little bit. Okay, we're gonna swatch it with the brush. And let's try to put it on the face. The glittery one is the ColourPop one that I had on. Ooh, that is beautiful. Wow. All right, so that's what it looks like swatched and that's what it looks like with the brush swatch. All right, now we're gonna close that one back up and that one is sweet and saucy. All right, the last one of the highlighters is Sugar and Spice. It looks like it's probably a gold color. Let's see. Yeah, I would almost say gold. Let's go ahead and take that. Add a little bit to this. This one comes out like the first one did. We're gonna do the swatch. See the hand? Everything's off. We're gonna floof it out for the finger swatch. Then we're gonna take the brush. And we're gonna do it like it would look. So this is the finger swatch, and this is the swatch with the brush. See if it can be built up. A little bit. So let's take it and put it up here. I don't know what I'm gonna look like. Good thing I'm not going anywhere. Let's see. It's not bad either. I kind of like that. I don't know what color I would call that because see, it goes kind of white and gold. It's got 
different reflex in it. All right, let's make sure. Always make sure if you have an availability besides the lid, besides this, to shut it, to do so. I did have a cream eyeshadow go bad because I had lost the little piece that goes over the top. So just a little heads up. If you have the availability to shut something, shut it. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and swatch this um, single shadow in Cobalt Cat. It's like a blue color. I wish I would have, she had these when I did that um, autism giveaway. Oh, look at that. Let's go ahead and just stick it on her hand. Look at that. See how, and then it goes out. I wonder if I could get another one out of it. It's a lighter one, but yep. But look at that color. Oh my God, that pigment. All right. Now is the fun part. I've never done this before, but we're gonna we're gonna do something new here. We are gonna do lip swatches of the lipstick collection. So I'm gonna get out these wipes, and I'm gonna take off the current lipstick, which is basically just it's a um, makeup forever on a video that I did that I think is going up after this. Even though I refer to this one. All right, we got all the lipstick off and some of the foundation. This is Sleigh Bell Lipstick Collection. It's got Kissmas, Pouty and Nice, and Rose Icing. So we're gonna open it up. All right, the first one is gonna be Rose Icing. I love the smell of her lipsticks and they are such a good formula. That is Kismet. I mean, um, rose icing. Swatched on the lips. All right. Let's go ahead and it's starting to dry down. That's what I love about her formula. I could put it on in the morning and I am still wearing it at night. So let's go ahead and wipe it off. Like the lipstick I was wearing left a mark on my drink cup. All right. The next one is called Pouty and Nice. And it's like a nudie look. It almost reminds me of the Nudie Patootie collection colors. Let's go ahead and put it on the lip. That's a nice nude color, and I like the doe foots. I don't know if you can see, see it. It's got the little indention. It shapes to your lips really well. And this is the one pouty and nice. I can see that being nice. I'm going for the darker one last so that I could keep that one on. Go ahead and remove this. I think my lips are getting raw. Only got, only did three, two lip swatches. All right, this one is Kissmas, I'm guessing. Yes, Kissmas. And it's like a, I would almost say red look color.
And I like it. It's got a point at the top. Let me dip back in and I'll show you why. You could line your lips. With that that point. I'm going to need a lip liner for this one, but I don't see any patchiness or anything. So it's really good. Everything I got here, I paid $42 plus shipping for it. So I would say I honestly got a good deal. Let me find, I'm trying to find my, um, let's just use this burgundy one by Ulta. There we go. I like her formula. I don't know why it's sticking because it never sticks before. I'm going to venture to guess that it's probably um, the combination of everything that I was wiping off and putting back on. So, overall, $42 for the highlighters the um, and everything else that I got. The highlighters, the lipsticks, and the eyeshadow palette that I cannot wait to use and dip into. As well as this random blue eyeshadow. Um, is pretty good deal. And I love Laura Lee and I do not mind supporting her. I'm going to get her single shadows collection eventually. But I just couldn't bring myself to get the whole thing right now. It wasn't on sale for one thing. Um, I'm a bargain shopper. I don't know if y'all have noticed that yet, but, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. As you can see, this color has already dried down. So we're going to add a little bit of Buxom Tammy to it in the center. I like the way that looks. All right. And I hope to see y'all in the next one. Bye.